Okay, hello everyone, it's Kathy White, and I am doing my, uh, what are we doing? Savory slow cooking uh, freezer meal workshop, and I am not lie with anyone because, you know, life happened and this is what happens, you know, to the season for crazy lives. Um, so I'm doing this as a recording. I do have all my ingredients and I was like, you know what, I'm still going to show you everything. So um, if you've never done a freezer meal workshop, um, hopefully maybe today I'll be able to share some of my tips and secrets as we go along. If you are a professional workshopper, no big whoop, watch along. I am going to have some different swaps and ideas too as we go along. Right here is my workspace. So while you're watching, you can kind of see what's going on here, but I tend to talk over here since you can't see my face over here. So that's where we're at. I'm wearing Christmas jammy bottoms because this is where I'm at with life. Got my sweatshirt, super comfy. And I think we're just gonna ready and jump right on in. How's that sound? Okay, so some of my, I have bagged all my meat already. So that's already done. So I'm not gonna have to take it out of packages. I am, what else? Am I missing something else? My refrigerator's open. I should probably shut that. And finally, um, I will talk about different ideas. Some of my stuff is still in the fridge and I'll be taking things out, but I'm gonna just jump right on in. Um, if you don't know, I use a drink bucket, an old drink bucket to kind of hold my bags. Um, if you don't have a drink bucket, you can always use um, just a bowl or whatever. That is an easy way to help you with that. Okay, now I'm ready, I think. So we are going to do creamy chicken stew. Ooh, that was fun. Now, here's one of my first swaps. So I had an issue with Instacart this week. They were just apparently having all sorts of issues. Delivered my food to the wrong place, didn't give me enough of whatever. So this calls for one and a quarter uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs cut into strips. Throw that in your bag, or because they didn't give me enough chicken, I am just simply going to use, I had frozen ma uh, magic chicken in my freezer. I'm throwing it in there. End of story. All of these are crock pot recipes. So they're all going to be quick and simple. So if it's already pre-cooked chicken, it's no big deal. All right. In here is going a can or excuse me, a jar of Alfredo sauce, whatever you got, cheapo, uh, Aldi brand, whatever, any type of brand jar salt or alfredo sauce is perfect so that's that we're going to add one cup of water and yes i do not measure if you don't didn't notice that um i just i don't have time to measure do i no do you have time to measure i'm pretty sure you don't okay first tip tastefully simple seasonings we are using garlic garlic and onion onion in this recipe did you know the cap of Tastefully Simple is two tablespoons? This recipe calls for one, excuse me, two teaspoons. So what I like to do, if you can see it, I call it the smile. Can you see that right there? So that's the smile, which is really like the pour spout. I call the smile, the smile is about two teaspoons. So you just need about two teaspoons of garlic, garlic, and then one tablespoon of onion, onion. So it's just going to be half of a cap. We're going to do that. Done, easy peasy. Um, also, it calls for garlic pepper seasoning or seasoned pepper. Let me find, which one do I have handy? I've got seasoned pepper right here. So we're gonna go with that. Um, half a teaspoon of that. So not much at all, just a itty bitty bit of pepper. It, whoa, live TV, here we go. Um, it does call for some basil. I'm not even sure if I have basil and two cups of frozen mixed vegetables. Let me start there and see if I have basil. Pretty sure I have basil. Oregano. I know I have basil. This is one of those like, no, I don't have basil there. Cilantro? Yeah. Oh, I can't find the basil right. Why don't I just throw in some oregano? I mean, it's all simpler. Sure, that sounds good. I don't know. That works. Okay, and then some frozen vegetables. And that is a quick, creamy chicken. Woo! Stew. I had 
have to tell you, I absolutely love this workshop. This is probably my go-to when it comes to all the workshops of my favorites because they're all crock pot meals, which I figured for us this time of year, crock pot meals are needed for everybody. All right, meal number one is done. Put it over here. All right, next one. Um, is we're going to skip the creamy salsa chicken. Um, actually not going to skip it. I will tell you, I am not making creamy salsa chicken, but because I didn't have enough chicken, like I said, that's the one I am not doing. You're going to take your corn and black bean salsa, right? How hard this is. You're going to add it with a can of cream of chicken soup and your chicken, and then you're done. Yeah, can't get much easier than that, folks. I would pair that with either rice or even use it as like an enchilada mixture and then roll it up in tortillas and then you have enchiladas. Speaking of enchiladas, let's make some enchilada soup. Oh, what did I get enchilada sauce? Might have forgotten that. Okay, that's all right. Let's go to chicken enchilada soup. So we've got chicken cubed right here. We are going to add, where are they? Black beans, drained. I can find my, there we go. I'm gonna add some drained black beans, also fire roasted diced tomatoes. I don't think I grabbed enchilada sauce from the store. That's all right. Got our black beans. This is also one of my fan favorites. Taco Tuesday meets soup night. I mean, perfect. Uh, fire roasted tomatoes. I think we have two of these, right? Yes, and these are not drained. Yes. I'm gonna add that in there. One. And. Two. Yep, so we have that. Let's see, we have that. If you have your enchilada sauce, put that in there. Apparently I forgot to grab that. Then either a cup of frozen corn or you could also do a can of regular corn. I'm gonna grab my corn. Let's see, I don't have frozen, so we're gonna do a can of corn. Oh, I don't have canned corn either. Oh my goodness. Well, I thought I had corn, but put your corn in there. Onion, onion, I'm so prepared for this, right? You know what, it's not gonna hurt anything. I will show you what to do in a second of if you're missing an ingredient, what to do. Cause you know what, we are human and we are allowed to make mistakes, everybody. I'm sorry, but it is true. So I did a one and a half tablespoons or three quarters of a cup of the onion onion and two teaspoons or so, one to two teaspoons of garlic garlic, depending on how much you like. I'm gonna grab some shredded cheddar cheese. Add that in there. I have the Mexican blend, whatever you want. Yes, you are putting the cheese right on in. Perfect. So like I said, if you are forgetting an ingredient, what I like to do is just put in here, add, I'm going to just write E sauce. I'll know what that is based because it's enchilada sauce. Just add that right onto the label. You'll remember eventually. No worries. Uh, let me make sure I got everything. Black beans, I didn't have that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, if you want to also reserve some cheese and put that to the side for toppings, you can, and then bag your bags. Um, I know cheese is just kind of like a staple in our house, so I know we will always have cheese. So, ooh, that looks pretty. Even if we don't have the corn, I feel like that's just really pretty. Very, very pretty. All right, meal two, three, done. Okay. Crock pot wings. Okay, so we're gonna do this one a little different. My family does not like dark meat. They're not huge chicken wing fans or anything like that. So I started to rack my brain and my fridge since the chicken was limited. What can I do? I had bought these frozen chicken tenders 
They are not cooked through. They're like frozen chicken tenders that need to be recooked. I was like, I bet you I could do that with this. So, and still do it in the crock pot. So we're gonna give it a whirl or put up, we're gonna basically add the sauce this way. And, um, but you could do it with the chicken, uh, chicken wings that, or drumsticks or whatever, anything like that. Okay, third of a cup of soy sauce. So we're gonna add that. I couldn't tell you the last time I bought soy sauce. I feel like soy sauce lasts forever. And I was like, oh, I actually need some. Okay. Okay, third of a cup. Mm, sure, that looks good. We're gonna add some ground ginger and our garlic garlic. So I'm gonna actually add the garlic garlic right now. Two teaspoons of garlic, so that smile, right? I'm gonna grab my ginger and a little bit of honey. So, well, one second. Now I have ginger. I just saw it the other day. And my honey is right here. Okay. I'll put this right here. Oops. There we go. Where's my ginger? That's pumpkin pie spice. That's not going to taste too good. This is my ginger. That's curry. That wouldn't be bad. That's cumin. Oh, come on. I know I have ground ginger. I just saw it the other day. Well, wow, this is embarrassing. That's not ginger. Cilantro, cumin, cayenne. I'm losing my mind, everybody. Hold on. Wait, coriander. All the things basically that Tastefully Simple doesn't have. All right, well, I'm gonna add my honey right now. How much honey? One tablespoon. I'm gonna add a good amount of honey. I love sweet, sticky. That just sounds good to me, so. There's my honey. Let me see if I can find my ground ginger somewhere. Ginger, where are you? I find if I sing to my cupboard some days, it just kind of manifests itself. It comes on out, but not to Jay, apparently. Oh, I found my basil, in case you were wondering. I wonder if it's hiding with the ginger. Well, there's that. Uh, ah, found it, ground ginger, yes, oh yes, all right, one teaspoon of ground ginger, yep, good enough, whew, that was crazy, all right, and then a little bit of oil, so you could use olive oil, you could use um, avocado oil, you could also use tastefully simple roasted garlic infused oil if you have it, that's what I'm going to be doing, I love it. It's going to add a little extra garlicky flavor and it's going to be delicious. So this is what I'm calling my garlicky ginger bite uh, wings, chicken bites. So yeah, I think that'll be really good. So we're just basically creating that sauce that's going to go right on top and create that garlic flavor with the ginger, with that honey, all good things. My kids are going to like this one a lot, I have a feeling. Awesome. All right. Meal four done. Now we are going to make probably one of the tastiest meals ever. And I have a friend, her name is Nicole. And Nicole, if you're watching this, you know who you are. She says that this is on like their family menu multiple times a month or something like that. So this is garlic beer French dips. In here, you're going to add a can of French onion soup. I did buy that, I know that. There it is, French onion soup. Did you even know they made French onion soup in a can? I didn't. Then you're gonna add a can of beer, your garlic pepper or seasoned pepper seasoning, garlic, garlic, and onion, onion. And guys, that's it. You can't beat this recipe. All right, you're gonna have to talk amongst yourselves well, I go get a can of beer, or you know what? I'm going to hit pause and I'll be right back. And like that, I have a can of beer. Isn't that amazing how that worked out? Okay, so I've got a Sam Adams Boston Lager. I have to take a drink before you. Yes, it's good. All right, so add your beer in here. All right. Then we're going to add our pepper, garlic pepper, seasoned pepper, whichever you want. I'm going gar uh, seasoned pepper. A little bit of that, a little garlic, garlic. It calls for one to two tablespoons. So a full on cap here. 
and a half cap of your onion onion. So good. So good. This one. Mm. If chuck roast is on sale, this is what you should be buying to make. Like grab it. If it's on a meat sale, this is like you should definitely be getting it just so you can make this because it's really using a lot of your tastefully simple staples. My guess is you're going to have it. All right. Moving right along. Five done, five to go. Here we go. Grandma's delicious pork chops. Now, another little trick of the trade. My family, not huge pork chop fans. So they like pork tenderloin. They like a roast, but not chopped pork chops fans unless they're grilled and this is not a grilled recipe. So what I did was I took a pork tenderloin and I made them into like pork medallions. Like did like slice them up a little bit that way. So that's how I'm going to do this one. Um, you could totally do this same recipe though with a pork tenderloin full and just let it cook in the um, crock pot too. All right. In here, we are doing a tablespoon of garlic, garlic. I might have to get another garlic, garlic. There's, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get another garlic, garlic. A little bit of seasoned pepper. And can of cream of mushroom soup. If your family will freak out about the mushrooms, then don't do cream of mushroom soup. Just do a cream of whatever soup. Uh, celery is always a good one. You could really do a cream of chicken soup, whatever you want. Any type of cream soup would be fine. And a cup of water. For the cup of water, I'm just going to fill my can up basically and use that for my water. There we go. Quick and simple. This is a great meal to have. Crock pot meals are great for the winter, not just because they make the house smell good and homey, but I feel like my kids are super busy in the winter. And so when we have busy schedules, I love having the crock pot for everyone to be able to get what they want when they need to come home and eat. All right, I'm hitting pause again because I have to go get more garlic garlic. And just like that, I'm back again, woohoo. All right, next one we are doing is a perfect pot roast. Perfect pot roast, here we go. Pot roast right here, throw it in here. One second. There we go. Uh, we need two cans of cream of mushroom soup, which, hold on. Do, do, do. I might have messed that up. I think we've got cream of chicken. Oh, it's good enough. All right, so cream of mushroom soup, a cup of water, onion, onion, garlic, garlic, and garlic pepper. Let's see. And my Instacart girl messed something up again, but I'm not that worried. Again, cream of whatever soups. No one really likes the mushrooms in my family. Anyways, it was probably supposed to be celery. It's all good. Okay, cup of water. One, two, three, four. I declare. Oh, more. Then we need our two tablespoons of onion, onion. Whoop. One full cap. One tablespoon of garlic, garlic. So half a cap. Oh, that was a little much. Sorry, it's not gonna hurt it. And then a little bit of your pepper. I'm using seasoned pepper. You could be using garlic pepper, whatever pepper you're using. Pepper, 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 salt, right? All right, seal that up. One thing we haven't had to do much for this one um, is you do want to massage your meat. And I always say massage your meat because it helps to tenderize the meat a little bit and get all those flavors infused. And then when you're all done, you may have seen me do this. You do want to do as best you can to get that air out of the bag. So that way it's all ready to go. Air is the enemy to the freezer. Okay, I need a towel over here. A little Norwax shout out. Everyone who loves their Norwax, yay. Okay, shredded pork tacos, baby. Okay, so shredded pork tacos. So you've got a pork roast shoulder, what have you. You're putting that in there. If you didn't mess up like I did, remember when I told you about the, what was it, the shredded, the creamy salsa chicken. 
I have that all ready except for, oh, my chicken. Like I put all the salsa and the cream soup and everything all in it. Um, minus the chicken. I put that in my freezer already. Um, so I accidentally forgot to leave only one cup of the salsa. So I've got just a regular salsa. Um, we're going to just make that work. That's fine. One cup of salsa in there. Green chilies. Oh, my chilies are in the refrigerator or in the cupboard. Mm, yummy. And then onion, onion, and garlic, garlic. Can't go wrong with this one, I'll tell you that. There's that. This again would be a good Taco Tuesday, kind of a unique twist on Taco Tuesday. All right, we've got two tablespoons of garlic, garlic, and one tablespoon of onion, onion. Boom, bang, bomb, done, yes. We're amazing, everybody. We are kicking butt. Massage that meat up a little. Got water in here. There we go. Whoop. All right, there. Okay, next thing, let's see. Slow cooker chicken and dumplings. Let's see. Okay, took another little liberty with this one and used my magic chicken for this one. So I'm going to empty that out in my big bag. Then um, we need to slice up some carrots and some celery. Now it calls for sliced. If you know Gary White at all, he does not like big or teeny tiny vegetables in his um, dinner or not his dinner. What am I saying? In his um meals so i'm actually going to throw in whole baby carrots and some chunked uh celery so i'm going to grab that so i'm just going to kind of throw in my baby carrots here it also calls for three cups of reduced sodium chicken broth now let's have a conversation about this you are welcome to throw the chicken broth in here. It will take up a lot of space in your freezer with um, that chicken broth. So I tend to always have chicken broth on hand. And so I'm gonna leave my chicken broth in my cupboard, um, but I'm gonna put a big old X on it. And that usually is a sign to me like, this is already reserved for something in your freezer. Do not use it for anything other than freezer meals. Um, and that way, I don't have to take up the space in my freezer with that extra space of the liquid. However, again, if you wanna add the liquid because you're gonna forget and you're a newbie and this is all brand new to you, go for it. You do you, okay? Let me wash this. All right. Oh, the dog knew I was about to cut something. All right, so like I said, I am gonna do this very coarsely because Gary does not like small vegetables. He likes to be able to pick them out. So I'm just adding them right in there. I love celery in any type of stew or soup or anything like that. I know it adds so much flavor. I will also tell you, take your celery leaves. They add flavor. Don't just throw those away. They do add flavor. I just don't like the ones that look like the head though. Like it looks like a person walk or like makes me think of like those like things. Those like freak me out. But any other than that, you're really, you're good on celery. Okay, good enough. I got enough celery there. Okay, onion, onion. Where's my towel? Here we go. We need some onion, onion, seasoned pepper. How much onion, onion? One tablespoon garlic, garlic, two teaspoons, so just the smile, Whoop. and a little bit of seasoned pepper. Okay, so what you're going to do is seal this up, and you're going to get another bag, okay, and then we're going to bag our bag. I'm going to explain that in a minute, so I'm going to put this bag to the side. Get another bag, and in this bag, it's going to be some half and half 
your artichoke and spinach warm dip mix and your cornstarch. So one second. All right, there we go. All right, there's that. So one cup of half and half, a packet of your artichoke and spinach warm dip mix. If you have not used our warm dips as a sauce, you are missing out. They are so great to do it. Oh, cornstarch. How much cornstarch? Two, no, I lost my place. Quarter cup of cornstarch. Wow, that's a lot. There's a quarter cup. And cornstarch is a natural thickener. So my guess is this is just to help thicken up that dumpling part. All right. All right, let me put this here. Gary White loves a chicken and dumpling, but he's gonna be picking out those carrots and celeries, I'll tell you that. He's gonna love the chicken though. All right, so we've got that. So remember, we've got two bags though. So if you use the, uh, a gallon bag or a quart size, take your bags. And you're gonna put them both in one big bag. Okay, so I'm gonna take my sauce mix first. And then I'm gonna take my chicken and dumpling, my veggies and my chicken. And see if we had had that chicken broth in there, which again, if you did that, it just would be a lot more extra space. And I just don't wanna deal with that in my freezer. Freezer space is important. Okay, whoop, whoop. we are down to the last one. No, yes, yes, okay. Chicken fettuccine. So in your chicken breast. Now I cubed up my breasts for this one. Um, you can leave them just the way they are too. I like them cubed in this recipe. This one only calls for one cup of chicken broth. So I am, am I gonna add it? Yes, I am going to add this. Let's see, do I have any in the fridge already? I don't All right. So one, two, three, four, boop, 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 boop. there we go. There's my chicken broth. Add a little bit of garlic pepper to this. Okay. Then in a small quart bag or again, another gallon bag, whatever you have, you're going to add the rest of your half and half, a half a cup of half and half. That's fun to say. Your artichoke and spinach warm dip mix, same idea as we just did with the chicken and dumplings, right? All right. Here we go. I'm going to add our half and half in here. There's that. Artichoke dip mix. Oh, here it is. There's that. I think that lights out. <laughs> and then, here's that. I get a sneeze. <laughs> Choo! There we go. And then we're gonna bag our bags again. And I definitely just made nine, technically, it could have been 10 meals in a half an hour. Uh, that's no joke, everybody. No joke. This is how I live my life. It is how I am able to get children to all their events, work full time. I actually have three jobs. I'm a full-time teacher, a part-time adjunct professor, and a uh, tastefully simple consultant. Oh, and I'm a Girl Scout leader. Yep, that too. All the things but I also have dinner done for the next 10 meals plus because there will be leftovers. If you have never done freezer meals, this is the best one to start with. I'm telling you, you will be able to have dinner multiple nights and it will be flavorful and it's all in the crock pot. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you have a lovely day. Again, we did all of them except for the creamy salsa chicken just because we ran out of chicken um, because of an Instacart order issue. But for that, you are just adding your chicken breasts with a corn and black bean salsa and one um, can of cream of chicken soup. Thanks everybody, bye.